So key points for the back squat are to firstly have your feet at or slightly wider than shoulder width. And secondly, to have a slight turnout of the feet. So you can see Caitlin's set up, ready to squat. Caitlin is set up and she's ready to squat. And the first thing she needs to do is fix her gaze at a point on the wall. You want it to be slightly higher than your head height. The second thing is to push outwards with the feet to engage the glute muscles. And the third thing is to send the hips backwards to start the squat. So when you're ready, Caitlin. Excellent work. So this is the bench pull. To set up for the bench pull, we're looking to have a grip that's wide enough so when you bring the bar up to hit the bottom of the bench, the forearm is vertical. And what we're looking for is for you to keep your chin on the bench during the reps so there's no back arching. Okay? Beautiful. Key points for the bench pull is after you've unracked the bar and before you start pulling is to push your chest into the bench which means that shoulders draw together. Second point is keep yourself in the ribs. So key points for the bench press. Firstly, make sure that your grip is at a distance that when you bring the bar down to your chest, you've got vertical forearms. And secondly, keep your body still as you push. Key points for a bench press is to, when you're ready to bring the bar down, you squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's the squeeze. And when you bring the bar down, you want to bring it to a strong position. 